Friday, it's on his town again. Now, soccer, as we here in America call it, or football, to the rest of the world, has been called the beautiful game. And if you've watched the World Cup, there are many examples of that. Pinpoint passing, uh, great teamwork, amazing shots, bending into the, into the net, and clutch goaltending. But there is an ugly side to soccer as well. Racist chants by fans directed at black and African players. During this World Cup, there were even neo-Nazi banners being displayed by some fans. And we haven't heard much about it at the World Cup, but soccer is also known for thuggish fans who go to the games just to start fights with fans of the other team. Just today it came out that the owner of a soccer team in Europe illegally purchased a liver on the black market for one of his players. FIFA, soccer's governing body, has been riddled with corruption for years. One scandal leads to another, whether it's bribery to get the World Cup played in a certain city or, or there have been uh, gambling uh, scandals, players shaving points. There's a lot of suspicious stuff that's happened over the years with this beautiful game. The most recent controversy came after Team Colombia's loss to England, Diego Maradona, a soccer legend who is best known for scoring a deciding goal in the World Cup with his hand, which is totally illegal, criticized the referee who officiated in Colombia's loss to England. He made it a point to mention that the referee is American, whether he was accusing him of bias or not knowing enough about the, the sport is unclear. But as a legendary cheater, Maradona has no business criticizing anyone. And since he retired from soccer, he's best known for his out of control and clownish behavior more than anything he ever did on the soccer field. I watched the game between Colombia and England, and Colombia played a dirty, thuggish game which they deserved to lose. It was really only because of the forbearance of the, of the American referee that Columbia finished the game with all ten players on the field. Half their team could have been disqualified at one point or another during the game. So any accusation of bias is completely ridiculous. Now, earlier there was some controversy because Japan got into the elimination round in a tiebreaker because they had fewer yellow cards than the team that they were tied with. And a, a lot of people ridiculed that. But after watching Colombia play, I think rewarding good sportsmanship is really not a bad idea. So, whether you call it soccer or football, the beautiful game has been marred by a lot of ugliness. Thanks for listening. Hey, thanks for watching my videos. And I want you to keep on doing that. Just not on YouTube. If you look down in the description box, you're going to see two new links there. One is to my Patreon page, the other one is to a site called Top Buzz. Now on Top Buzz, they're letting me monetize my video and, I, and they're not even ads on them. So I'd like you to get in the habit of watching my videos there. Or you can go to my Patreon page and if you want to become a supporter, that would be great. If you don't, you can still watch my videos there. But for me, YouTube is no longer worth bothering with. It's just a launching pad that I use to put my videos at other places on the net. So I do want you to keep on watching my videos. 
but not on YouTube.